another studio vlog. I actually have just finished filming last week's studio vlog yesterday. It's now Tuesday and it's quite late in the day. It's 2 p.m. now. Um, but I've just finished my Patreon Q&A video and I keep picking at this spot on my chin. So I'm sorry that I've got Mount Everest on my chin, but I keep picking it. I just can't help myself. Anyway, finished my Q&A video today. It was like an hour long, so it took ages to film and edit i was sat down for about an hour and a half filming it and then i had to obviously edit it which takes ages because i have to go through an hour and a half worth of footage to edit it. but i kept it quite raw so it was just me talking to the camera so i finished that but today on the agenda i really need to get some pins sent off ready for a summer launch uh, it's quite quiet in my store at the moment i haven't really had any new product launches for a while because i've been away in spain and everything and i'm actually going away to florida in four weeks so i have a lot to do because i want content to still keep going out and i want a product launch to kind of keep happening while i'm away in florida so i just have to be really strict with my schedule on how i'm going to get things out in time um i think i might have left it a little bit late because my pins might not arrive in time in four weeks before i go away but um, fingers crossed that the do if not i'm just gonna have to launch them when i get back but regardless it is now may tomorrow so 30th of april today and it's may tomorrow so i really need to get these summer pins out and i've wrote in my little planner that i want to design some summer pins or some drop and some travel gingy stickers so stick uh gingy has been away for a while but i actually did do a little illustration if you follow me on instagram of gingy holding some daffodils so i really want to release them as stickers and i also want to do them in kind of like a rubber dinghy on like a holiday with spice and i don't know whether i'm going to do gingy and spice together on holiday or whether i'm going to do gingy on holiday or spice on holiday and people can mix and match them i'm not sure so what what we're going to do is get some sketchbooks out and we're going to just get some sketching done now i don't actually know where my midori sketchbook is oopsie but i might have to go through the other office and get my other sketchbooks out and i want to sketch traditionally just let my kind of thoughts flow down on paper rather than procreate or something and then i'll probably put it into procreate and yeah so let's get sketching some summer pin design because we really need to get a move on because it's already beginning summer and I still haven't done it. I am so lazy. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm currently watching this absolute babe. Does anyone recognise it? It's Draw with Jazza. I'm using Skillshare and I'm watching his um, Stand Out and Make Money on YouTube. This isn't sponsored by Skillshare, this video, but I'm just genuinely watching this while I sketch. And now I need to go through the other office and find my sketchbook. This office is such a mess at the moment guys look at this this is my second studio space you might know it from the other studio vlogs but i think the only sketchbook i have here is this one i got from my scrawler box my lectrum's full so i can't use that there's an arteza pad that's too big uh where's my midori i think my midori's at home so i'm gonna have to use this derwent sketchbook i think i've still got space in here and look at my art print wall guys it's getting along pretty well, am I right? So whenever you guys send me art prints, I uh, put it on the thing, but it's kind of on a wonk at the minute for some reason. I have no idea why. Anyway, I'm procrastinating. Let's go back through to the other office and let's get some gingy sketches done. I've just grabbed some alcohol markers from next door <laughs> that I um, haven't used for a while, actually. These haven't been in my um, sketching pad, so let's experiment with some new markers today. These are quite cheap ones. You might remember these. I did an alternative review, like a comparison review against Copics with these. These are Dustcraft mark or Artiste Doorcraft markers, and they're actually really good. And then I've got some cheap ones that I got <laughs> from a lady at a craft fair, which are really cheap off Amazon. And this is how I started with alcohol markers, these cheap ones. So, and then a Spectrum Noir one as well. So I'm going to do some sketches with these. Adapt and overcome, am I right? Too slowly, and it most likely will feel like it's moving too slowly. Remember the long term commitment you made and focus on some content you can make to keep you inspired. Thank you. 
finished some sketches and um, this is what I've come up with I've come up with Gingy sitting on a little sun chair him heading to the pool or the beach with his little um, armbands on and little lilo or what's that called rubber dinghy and then him applying some sun cream I thought it would be really cute to do just like a face one where he's by himself just like a single emoji with sunglasses on and then I've also done some quick little illustrations of like a beach bag a sun lotion some flip flops a little beach ball which looks really cute and a lilo separately so this will be in the sticker pack and then i'm thinking of making exactly the same sticker pack but with spice so with the bow on top and then both of them combined together it would be cute to do one where spice is applying lotion to gingy uh, that would be cute like a couple's one so in total this should be three sticker packs so one of gingy one of spice and one of both of them uh, i'm going to put this into procreate and color it digitally uh, the colors are absolutely disgusting on these pens just look at this a second this is nothing like the pen lids i've done a review about this before but can we just appreciate how different the colors are these colors are disgusting and do not work well together so i wish i just kept it with original graphite because honestly it's not working very nicely but yeah i just need to digitalize this and put it on appropriate let's make some gingy summer stickers shall we finished my sticker pack and I think they looked so cute I'm unsure about this gingy head I don't think I'm going to put this in the sticker pack so I think it's just going to include gingy and spice rubbing lotion on which reminds me I need to put the white of the lotion on them oops be right back okay done it <laughs> added some little lotion to the hands so we've got gingy and spice uh, adding lotion we've got a gingy going on the way to the pool or the beach gingy relaxing a little beach bottle beach bag some cream flip-flops gingy applying lotion and a little lilo i might add a face to this lilo yeah i think i'm gonna add a face be right back again yeah i did it <laughs> i added a little face to them it turned out really cute, am I right? So these are going to be a sticker pack minus this face because I'm just not happy with how that turned out. Um, and I think I'm going to make these into spice as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the bow and then I'm going to put it into Photoshop and change the colour because spice is a slightly pinker colour. I don't know if you can see, but she's a slightly pinker colour than Gingy and she has a bow on the top of her head. So I will change all these into spice ones, but I'll do that in Photoshop because I just find it easier and quicker in Photoshop. 
and I think that's going to be me done for today until tomorrow what have I got planned for Wednesday let's have a look but I think I want to take my iPad home and do some sketches for the pudding enamel pin because the enamel pin is important I need to get that sent off by the end of the week so that is the ultimate goal I'm actually going to write this in my weekly goal bit here my ultimate goal is to get those enamel pins sent off they need sending off um by the end of friday because i would ideally like to get them before i go away to florida but whether that's going to happen or not who knows i always leave it last minute it's my fault but at least it's still going to be july and august um when i get back so we'll just have to see so i'm going to write down in my weekly goals and then i'm going to head on home and i'm going to take my ipad home and i'll catch up with you tomorrow and show you kind of if i get anything done that's productive i'll show you tomorrow okay see you bright and early love you bye, -bye. hello guys it's actually <laughs> thursday today it's a long story basically on tuesday night when i finished this vlog i went home i had my tea and i decided to get my laptop out and do work until the early hours of the morning i just kind of got absorbed i was replying to your comments i was catching up on some emails that i got sent through in the day and my mind was just swirling anyway it got to around two o'clock in the morning and i tried to get to sleep and just as i was setting off for some bizarre reason i had a full-blown panic attack uh, now i've suffered from panic attacks on and off over the course of like the last few years since i was a teenager um but normally i can kind of tell when it's happening but i think what's happened in this case is i stimulated my mind a lot before i went to bed uh, normally i ban my phone from my bed so i plug it in at the other side of the room and i don't look at my phone and i read a book and that normally sends me to sleep and i set up some really healthy habits however since i got my own macbook and i've been working from home again the whole point of moving into a studio space away from home as well was so i could switch off from work because i think the problem is when you're an artist or you love what you do so much you end up working every single hour of the day and even replying to comments and replying to your messages that's still work and stimulation to do with work but it never feels like it to me and i end up overworking and dean always shouts at me but i don't mean to do it so anyway yeah i had a really really bad bad night on a tuesday night so i decided the next day uh because i only had like one hour sleep um to take the day off emily messaged me and said she had everything under control thank god for emily let's praise emily for sorting out the etsy shop best sister ever um and she was processing the orders and stuff and i decided to do a little bit of work at home and kind of doing a more relaxed day um so i did some pudding designs which i'll show you in a sec um not sure how i feel about it. think i need to go back in and change the line out for it uh, but today we're going to have a planning day so i need to plan um the next two months so may and june because i'm going away for half the month in june i want everything to go on as normal i want my content on youtube to go on as normal uh, so that you can't really tell i'm away if that makes sense and although i'll probably be active on instagram and patreon uh showing you what i'm kind of doing in the disney parts and stuff i still want you guys to get content off of me and i want it all to be scheduled let's get into the planning day together and yeah i'm excited to plan it out i'm going to put some nice music on and i'm just going to plan and schedule everything so i know when everything's going to go up and it relieves my stress levels also can i point out what a babe emily is i asked her we have like this tub full of seconds enamel pins in the cupboard that we kind of as we've been counting for the first we've kind of been stuck uh sticking in this like pot but not organizing them and yesterday she's all organized them into individual bags labeled them and wrote how many of each second there is so we're going to do a huge second sale in a couple of weeks i will put an announcement on um social media so you can grab them they will be considerably lower uh probably half the price of normal enamel pins and basically what seconds are they are just kind of slight defected ones so let me see see if i can show you so this is an example of a second one i don't know if i'll be able to see it on screen but the enamel's not perfect or they may have scratches on um but they're still cute you you can't tell on camera at all <laughs> really normally seconds um they're not that bad they still look cute and they're still sellable but they've just they're just not perfect but that's the baby shark one so emily why is it ugly poor cat it's not that ugly am i right let's have a look at it 
Okay, maybe a bit ugly. He's not ugly, he's adorable. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this enamel pin has some scratches on the surface. You know, it's blurry. You can't, oh, did I catch it? So there, there's like a minor blur, a minor scratch even on the surface. So that's classed as the second. Also, what I'm going to do now is I've got my little memo pad out. That's from Sanex. Um, I didn't realise that Sanex was a proper brand. Um, but now I'm absolutely in love with their characters. You guys told me that they were a proper brand and everything. And I went and looked into them and now I'm obsessed with them. They've actually been around longer than Sanrio, I think. But yeah, I got these little cuties from Comic-Con. So I'm going to make a list. Um, and do each sheet for different Patreon tiers so my coffee bean tiers and stuff and I'm gonna like do different sheets for it so I know what I have to offer and when to offer it and I'm gonna pin them to my Mac and look on my calendar and then I'm gonna put in my YouTube content my Instagram content and things like that so let's get into planning Okay, so I've been watching Animal Crossing and trying to schedule out May and June's Patreon and content schedule. So I've done YouTube and Patreon schedule and I've created a little key. So I've highlighted different things. So blue is Patreon, pink is YouTube, um, purple is uh, Etsy. So I'm going to do the seconds sale on Sunday the 12th of May. So if you want to write that in your diary, it'll probably be at around 3pm. Um... I'm gonna write this down BST British summertime so if you want to write that in your diary my pins will be going in the second sale on the 12th and I do know second sales sell out very quickly because it's a chance to get a bargain am I right and then I've done June's as well so we've got my like personal stuff even though this isn't personal i'm on a podcast show uh, called the honest designers podcast which is scheduled in uh, and then i've got patreon i've got youtube i shouldn't have highlighted my holiday but i've got different things planned so i'm planning on from zero sales to one percent sellers sketchbook tour uh, what else have i got planned procreate uh, brush review um running two businesses how i make my art prints and then studio vlogs are blocked out for tuesday so Wow, <laughs> and I go to Florida here, we are now here, and I go to Florida here, and I have to somehow get all of this done within these three weeks, so, yeah, <laughs> a little bit panicky, but what I'm going to do now is I'm getting my planner out, so as you can see, this is how I normally organise my days, I normally do little lists, 
and tick off when I've done them. So I am now going to go through my book and plan when I'm going to film and edit these different videos because I'm going to have to film two videos in one day sometimes even more and um, to get this much content out now if i don't get every single little last drop done fine i'm not going to beat myself up about it um but i am going to try and do this as a goal it is a bit ambitious but hey i'm an ambitious girl what can i say so now i've used these i've crossed them off as i was kind of putting them in the um, diary I was crossing them off just to make sure that I'd got down everything so I didn't miss anything so they can now go in the bin everything is so cute am I right so now I'm going to put it into my paper diary just a bit more in detail now that I know when things are scheduled in detail when I'm going to film them and stuff like that so I'll show you the results in a little bit this will take me about 45 minutes <laughs> So, ugh, I just choked on my own breath then. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm finished. I've just scheduled when I'm going to film things and when I'm going to upload them. And I've also left gaps for um, whatever comes up in the Etsy business because things normally come up um, and I normally get inspired to create new products. So I've left some blanks. Hopefully I can get this done, but there's quite a lot to do. And then I'll just add little cute stickers to my pages, but I do that normally during the week uh, when I add some more detailed things like this. So, yay, my week is planned. Whoop, 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 whoop. I've all finished planning. I feel a little less stressed. Now what I want to do is I want to create like a little calendar for my patrons that I'm going to upload today. Um, and then I need to film and edit this scroller box video. So nothing much more to see here guys to be honest. But I do have some goodies for you guys that are in my drawer. So I thought I would open them and end the studio vlog in traditional fashion. We're showing you guys some little artist post box unopening. So let's go shall we? So I forgot to mention I had to purchase another paper cutter because because Emily said the other one that I bought, which was quite expensive, it's over here, the cathedral one, the blade has bent. I don't know if you can see, but it's knackered. And that was like literally 50 quid. So I bought another cheap one off, I think it was Amazon or eBay, but I just got the A4 one for now. Um, I did have one of these before, but it came damaged with a broken handle and wasn't, um, wasn't great. But even the expensive one has been leaving like this black dust from like the paint. I don't know whether Emily is pressing down too hard on it or something, but I've just bought a little A4 one for now because to be honest, I don't really cut A3 stuff. So I never know why I buy an A3 one anyway but yeah i'm not having much luck with these paper cutters i've literally went for about five okay it's that part in the video where i show you the goodies that i've opened i've opened them off camera so that it's just quicker and easier for you guys to see and the next one i just had to show you this envelope because i'm such a sucker for stationery and stuff and this is literally the cutest thing i think she's printed her illustrations on the envelope but look at this and she sent me a lovely little letter but i just wanted to show you how amazing her handwriting is <laughs> what the heck how can you even like how can you even write this neatly and this is where you can find her on instagram at sissy art cafe so we've got this cute little planet uh sticker sheet and can i just say this is beautiful quality it's like super silky it feels like the vinyl paper that I use and then this gorgeous little seal which is a watercolour illustration look how cute this is and then we've got this koi fish as well and I like the way she's got like these cute details around it but look at this gorgeous pattern and then we've got this little red panda which is really cute I think this is a red panda yeah it's a red panda am I right which is really really cute a sticker again and then a little cute sticker pack which i think are freebie samplers and they've got little cactuses on the little smiley faces in watercolor and then this little happy mail oh my gosh i love these stickers i don't know why but every time i get like a little sticker pack like this is how small it is it's like my hand size like smaller than my hand but it makes me want to do my stickers smaller <laughs> because uh, it's just so cute but look at these little illustrations oh my goodness and then she sent this cute adorable postcard of this hot air balloon and then on the back it's like this pretty postcard and her um colorful logo which is so beautiful and then we've got some more sticker sets so we've got these floral galaxy stickers which are so freaking cute i love the colors of this like this kind of teal blue and pink just works so well and it says took my meds self-love is the best love some little 
artist palettes, went on a walk, remembered to breathe. I need this right now, am I right? And I'm not sure what paper this is on, but it is beautiful. It feels like watercolour paper, but it's obviously printer paper. Maybe it's something like Hammer Mule or something. But, oh my gosh, look at the detail. Look at the elephant. How cute, thank you so much Cecile, this is absolutely adorable. I love those stickers, that's so, so freaking cute, I'm so lucky. The next thing we've got is this huge art print. Now I'm not sure I can fit this on my um, video, but it's absolutely stunning. And this is from Mimi, but look at this huge A3 art print. And look at the detail of the illustration. And this is gold, so I think she goes in and actually puts this over the top. It's so unique, I haven't really seen anything like that and I saved the uh, the bottom to show you because it was packaged like this with this cute stamp on. And then it says, this is made for you, open me, treat yourself and enjoy your goodies. And my art print was inside there and it's so beautiful. And she put in these two business cards as well and this is where you can find her. I think it's Mimi Corselitzi. Mimi Corselitzi. Um, I think I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm not, uh, but this is where you can find if you want to check her out. And then on the back she's got more hand related illustrations holding stuff, it's so cool, I haven't seen a style like this before. And then she also put in this postcard that says thank you for your love and support, and then this girl, I love how she drew her eyebrows, oh my gosh, eyebrow goals. Thank you so, so much Mimi, that is amazing. And then we got this adorable package, oh my goodness. Let me just adjust you. And because I'm going to Disney World, these are literally perfect. And she handmade these mini mouse earrings. You guys know that I'm a sucker for handmade earrings. But look at these with the little drop, the little Mickey head. And I think they're made from beads. I have no idea how you craft these, but they are amazing. And I'm going to take them to Disney World. But she also put in this little paper clip. And I just wanted to show you because I'm such a sucker for like adorable stationery. Look how tiny this little baby paper clip is. Is that the cutest paper clip you've ever seen or not? And you can find her on at vanish on Instagram with a double I and double H. So thank you so so much, Vanessa. I am definitely going to wear these at Disney World. So if you watch my Florida vlogs uh, when I get back, you will see me wearing these hopefully. And then we got this cute little bundle of gift tags from Sky and Kim at Karmic Creations. And then they put in these to and from crafted uh, gift tags, which will be super handy for Christmas presents. Look at these. So I'm gonna store and use at Christmas. And then they also put this uh, handwritten thank you note. I have no idea how you hand write hand letter in like that, but it's freaking amazing. So thank you so much Sky and Kim. Yay! But yeah. We're at that time where we have to say goodbye until next week. It's the end of the studio vlog, but hopefully I'm going to have many more scheduled for the next coming weeks. I'm going to be a very, very busy girl in May. And yeah, quite a stressful month ahead with lots and lots of scheduling planning. That's the downside about running your own business, guys. You can't just take a vacation and just forget everything. Like normally if you were employed by someone, you'd be able to just like go on holiday and not really worry but when you have your own business there's a lot of loose ends to tie up especially if you have things like patreon and content creation you have to get them scheduled i mean i know you guys will probably understand if i take a break but i don't want to take a break so um it's not the end of the world if i don't get every single thing scheduled but I like to try. I definitely want to get my Patreon scheduled because Patreons help obviously support um, me to be able to do more content like this because now I can employ Emily to kind of run the Etsy side of things and I can kind of work on content creation and new products and new ideas. So yay to you guys for helping me and thank you so much everyone who, just for watching because having you here and building this community means the world. Uh, I've brought back the unopenings at the end of the studio vlog because I was getting a lot and they were building up all the time and I think it's just easier to show you guys uh, different artists at the end of the studio vlogs and I hope you still like it at the end as well um, and hopefully you found some new exciting artists to go and discover. Anyway I'll see you very very soon. Thank you so so freaking much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Alright then. I love you. Goodbye.